Honourable Jeremy Buckingham. Please take a point of order, Jeremy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yesterday, a scientific report was released suggesting fugitive gas emissions from coal seam gas fields could be significantly higher than both industry and government acknowledge. This should ring a loud warning bell for those in the House, as it certainly will for those in Western Sydney currently confronted with proposals to expand coal seam gas throughout their communities. Findings that methane and carbon dioxide levels are significantly higher in and around producing coal seam gas fields when compared to surrounding areas is significant. Other gases, including hydrogen sulphide and volatile organic compounds, can accompany fugitive methane and have serious health impacts. This government has made clear its intention to let coal seam gas rip across the state, including in the Sydney metropolitan area and in Sydney's drinking water catchment. To go ahead now would be to fail the communities of Western Sydney and particularly the residents around Campbelltown and Camden. In Tara, Queensland, where this research is being conducted, there have been ongoing complaints within the community of people getting headaches, nosebleeds and skin rashes, some of them children. The Queensland Government and gas company QGC denied any link with the coal seam gas field, but these are the same people who continue to deny the extent of fugitive gas emissions from CSG. Their credibility, along with the credibility of this entire industry, is starting to cr crumble. This New South Wales government must now make a decision. It has flagged its plan despite all of the understood environmental, social, economic and health risks of this industry to greenlight the coal seam gas industry in New South Wales. But I say to the government, it is not too late to change your mind. The decision now is whether you let loose in the biggest city in Australia and in the water supply of 4.5 million people, an industry that in all likelihood is poisoning our air. These new findings make coal seam gas in metropolitan Sydney an even greater risk, and a risk that will be carried by the people in the suburbs of Western Sydney in particular. Already 130 wells have been drilled as part of AGL's Camden gas project. 80 are still operational and another 66 sit on the planning books. These wells are near people's homes and the proposed wells will be drilled under more homes and the Nepean River. The pure facts are these. AGL was not required by the previous government to conduct baseline studies on groundwater or human health. In August this year, it finally admitted it had been breaching licence conditions by not performing continuous monitoring of air emissions from their project. What remains completely unknown is whether or not the level of fugitive emissions experienced in Tara is reflected in AGL's gas field in Camden. I don't know. AGL doesn't know, and this government certainly doesn't know, because no one has done the basic work, work to assess that air pollution and its impact on human health. There are two coal seam gas exploration licences that cover the entire Sydney metropolitan area. Exploratory drilling in St Peter's was put on hold, but AGL plans to extend across Sydney's west. Already around 50 of AGL's wells have, uh, have exhausted. This industry needs to continually increase the number of wells to remain viable. What is a couple of what is a couple hundred planned wells now will become thousands across the suburbs of Greater Sydney if the government presses the go button. The consequences of putting a gas field in an urban area are becoming clear. Um, now the report's coming in from Texas and it warrants a rethink. One study showed in communities with the heaviest shale gas drilling, children in the community, children in the community aged six to nine are three times more likely to have asthma than the average for that uh, age Age group in the state of Texas. In December last year, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the TCEQ, reported that oil and gas operations in the Dallas-Fort Worth region emit more smog-causing volatile organic compounds than all cars, trucks, buses and other mobile, source, um, mobile sources in the area combined. And that area violated US federal ozone standards on more days than anywhere else in Texas. In short, they have some of the highest highest concentrations of gas wells and some of the worst air quality in the country. This parliament must take action now to put a moratorium on further coal seam gas exploration and production. To continue while the science points to unacceptable emissions and health risks is irresponsible in the extreme. The Greens have stood up for regional and farming communities in this campaign and today, and we will fight for Western Sydney, opposing AGL's plans to turn Western Sydney into a gas field. The responsible mining bill I have introduced to parliament 
would rule out coal seam gas in Sydney metropolitan area and our drinking water catchments. Honourable Linda Voltz.